Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to another episode of my video. Today's episode is going to be about the update of these repairs that I've been doing on the 3200 watt 60 volt 30 amp scooter. So, if you have any scooter, it doesn't matter what brand name it is. If it's uh, any scooter, literally any scooter that have a hydraulic braking system or something like that, and you are having a problem where the exclamation sound is a sign on the throttle that doesn't allow your scooter to go, this is the way you can, you know, fix those problems. So in this video, I'm going to just show you all something quick. So I got this scooter here, the Ultra G that I've been using for some time, and I made videos about it. And this will happen. So I was riding this scooter one day, and it just stopped working after just stopping at the zebra crossing, you know, to let people pass through. And when those things happen and you see something like this, I made videos on that already. So if you're new to this channel, you might be able to go back to watch that video. So if you see something like this coming on your scooter, it means that uh, your, your scooter is saying that the brakes are applied, but the brakes actually not apply. So that means that there might be something. So you can see that the brake light is constantly on, even though the brakes are not held. You can see this brake is free. This is another brake down the free, but the brake light is on. So what I did is, this is the original brake light on the scooter. But when this happens sometimes, because in my situation, uh, my tires got a little bit uh, grinded, you know, on the cables in the past before. So I was suspecting that that might be like some wire touching causing this. So I don't want to talk about that too much because I already have it. Uh, a video in another of my episode on my YouTube channel where you can see exactly what we got through to get to where we are right now, you know what I'm saying? So in that episode, if you said I got a few things that I got new throttle, uh, I got new controllers. These are the old one, which is still good. And then I got uh, the new tail light, which is the one right here, because that's the old one. Because when that happened, it's three things that normally goes wrong. It might be your tail light. It might, which is this one, or it might be your throttle, you know, or the electric circuit board, probably maybe something blown out, or it might be the controller. So when that happened, my first instinct is that it has to be the controller because usually they are the one that give up because they got a MOSFET or transistor that sometimes they get too hot and they just blown out and then things start happening. So that other controller, the controller came and I checked the controller, I'm still having the same problem. Then I said it might be this, so I ordered this as well. Change this, it's still showing the same sign as you can see right there. So then I know that it's not this, not a controller. So I got a tail light. When I put a tail light in, I'm still getting the same thing. So now I know it's none of these three copies that usually you know cause those uh, uh fault note to appear on your on your instrument throttle. But for some reason, I don't know. These scooters have a, a, a braking sensor. I don't know if you all can see uh that there. That thing there with the two uh, screw holding is a braking sensor. You got it on this side, you got it on the other side. And then if you look right here, uh, they got, you know, the braking sensor connector. You got one here. And if you go down, so you got one here. So if you go up, you see they got another one right here. So what happened, if you all have any situation like this where you're riding your scooter and all of a sudden you start seeing, you know, those signs that you don't know what to do, um... In my previous video, I've listed things that you need to look at. Well, I can get those things. And sometimes it might be very difficult for any other person that owns a scooter. Maybe something financially might not be able to get that. So don't worry getting those things. The first thing is try to check on these sensors. So check on these sensors to be sure. So remove these sensors. Put a screwdriver in. Remove them. You remove the first one, you check your throttle. If the sign is still there, which is that exclamation sign, I'm just going to show you one more time. So if you still see that sign, that exclamation sign, I don't know if you all can see, let me just focus this camera a bit. So that sign there, if you all can see that sign after removing your sensor, that means it's not a sensor. Don't put it back. Remove the second sensor as well. If you remove the two sensors and you still see that sign and your brake light is constantly on, that means that something is wrong and in this situation if you look right now if i pull the throttle you can see if i pull the throttle i'm pulling the throttle there's nothing happening the scooter is not turning because the the, the system is is telling the controllers in the scooter they're telling the scooter the brake has not applied but I don't worry about that that's just because i've just connected it lightly because i'm not going to be using a new one since i know it's not a 
it's not the actual tail light so that may just keep the the old tail light on and then use this one as a spare so that that light flashing up and i don't worry about that so then what you gotta have to do now is uh you're gonna have to come here and the only way you can work this out because these sensors are interconnected so let me just hold it this so these sensors here the sensor there and the sensor here they interconnect and so this one connects straight back to this one and then the whole two sensor connected right into the controller so if you remove just you know the the sensor the one with the two screws that you remove both sides it's still connected to the controller so your best way is you gotta have to remove this one you're gonna have to remove the actual sensor so you just press on the uh, you press on the bar clip and you pull this one out that should come out you need two hand for that obviously because my video i cannot do that but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just rest the camera here for one second and i'm just gonna pull that and then show you all so okay so now you can see that i pull the first one out and the light is still there that means that because the first one that i pull out you can see the wire that goes down is still connected to that so that means it's still signal from the controller going to the bar sensor so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take the second one off so if you take the second one off i just did that so i'm gonna show you all what i did so i took the first one off you can see that the first one is out i took the second one now the light is not there and if you press your throttle look you can see that your scooter is now working you can see that well i have to readjust that because i've done so you can see that your scooter is totally working so if you got a problem like this that your scooter just stopped working and you don't know what happened before you start buying all the controllers and all this which you might not need it might be worth just like you know and to get to these wires it's not that bad you can see the coating that comes with the wire you just have to you know uh cut a small zip tie that it, they used to you know hold them it's a zip tie which is like this so this uh, zip tie that they use just cut them with the six sides you know remove them and that will make this coat free so you just you know uh unwrap the coat around the wires to expose the wire then you have insulation tape that you know tape all the wires together you just you know unwrap the insulation tape till you can get to you know these two uh sensor cables and if you remove these two sensor cable as you can see your scooter is back in business but the only thing that's going to be happening after all this is that uh when since the sensor cables are not on anymore when you hold your brake you're not going to be getting a brake light so for the time being if you worried about your brake light not working then it's going to be something you have to do that means you have to order new sensor cables from uh, your supply whatever scooter is you have if you have uh this this video is not only for this uh type of scooter it could be for any scooter that have a brake sensor with a braking system now like the keyword because if i go to my keyword right here which i got right here um you can see my keyword right here uh this one is a cable braking so there's not any uh proper sense that if you look here it's just a small cable that goes in uh which is kind of like it's not complicated like you know the one we see on that one so if you got something like this it's totally fine if that fail just remove the cable totally from there and then see then it might actually you know work but if you got something like you know the the big one that i got right here so that means that you know when that happened what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to disconnect the, the sensors and when you disconnect the sensors and then um you see that your brake light is not gonna work but the good thing is you still got some light like you know you still go be having in the night time when you put a light on you can see that your light is going to come on in the night time the only thing is if you hold the brake now which i hold now you can see that the brake light is not coming on the brake light is supposed to be the one at the, at the end the one at the ends are not coming on so you're still visible in the, in the night with all this numerous light that you got on this scooter but if you have a scooter that probably you just have a light if you got a scooter that have a brake light then definitely you're going to be having a light in us so that means that it's still safe for you to ride at night and uh, visibility to other you know road users will be very you know clear to notice that somebody is on something or something is you know lighting up in the dark so when you do that you should be able to you know continue using your scooter but if it bothers you a lot and you, you don't want to just like, you know, leave it like that, you want it to be already not in mind.